Hey everyone, this is Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder. Today I'll be showing you how to turn your GS4 into a dash cam for your car. A dash cam is a really useful thing to have in case you're ever in an accident. You may be able to prove who's at fault. Hopefully it wasn't you. Or just for catching other random moments while driving on the road. So you're going to need a few things before we start. First thing would be a dock or mount for your car. Uh, there are tons of them out there. Some of them are made specifically for your phone model and there are other uh, universal ones with adjustable clamps to hold your phone. Second thing would be a car charger. Um, recording video is a pretty big battery drain on any phone so you're going to want to be plugged in. And third thing would be uh, Daily Roads Voyager. Uh, this is one of the best dash cam apps out there. It's completely free, uh, no ads, and it's really easy to use. So go ahead and search for it in the Play Store. You can just search for Daily Roads as one word and it should be the first search result. And once you have the app installed, go ahead and open it up and let's get acquainted with the main screen. So you have the viewfinder here. This is what will be on video. And you have four buttons off to the side. Uh, the video button activates recording, it will turn red when it's recording. Uh, the photo starts photo capturing every few seconds. Uh, the default is 60, uh, 60 seconds when you first download the app. But you can change that in the settings. Uh, files will show you all the videos and photos you have. And the last button is camera mode button. Uh, you can cycle through different modes. Uh, to help adjust the camera to different lighting levels like you have moonlight, uh, city light, daylight, sunny, cloudy and uh, before you get, go out on the road and use the app uh, let's make sure to configure the settings first especially the video settings so uh, just tap on your GS4's menu button go to settings and then video and you can adjust the video quality here. Uh, I like to have it at 720p. Uh, let's say you're the victim of a hit and run. 720p should get the job done in capturing the culprit's license plate. Uh, you can go to 1080p, but uh, you get larger file sizes there. But if you want to deal with that, that's all up to you. And you should also be sure to edit the video length per file. I like to have it at uh, 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. And then let's go, let's go ahead and activate background mode. Uh, we'll be using it later. Uh, let's make sure background operation is checked. And then file storage. And full path will uh, let you choose where you store videos onto your phone. Uh, this first choice with a uh, emulated in the file path is uh, your phone's internal memory. And this one with X SD card is your external SD card. Uh, let's also edit to max space to use. I have it at 15,000 megabytes. Um, basically, it allocates a certain amount of space to store videos on. And as that amount fills up, the app will start deleting the oldest videos one by one. So once you have your settings configured, uh, let's learn how to start video recording. So all you have to do is tap the video button and it will start recording. And you notice at the top right of the viewfinder it says touch to retain video. Uh, basically if you catch something noteworthy on video, uh, just tap on the screen and the app will save that video in a special folder called retain videos where it will be safe from automatic deletion. So let's check it out in our files. So this is the video that we just filmed and it's also retained under retained videos. So one of my favorite features of the app is background recording. So let's say you want to use a navigation app or something like Google Maps and still be able to record with your dash cam. You can do so with this app. 
So you just have to make sure your background operation is checked in the settings, which we did earlier. So let's try running Maps and Daily Roads Voyager at the same time. Alright, so you see this button with a video on it. And you can tap and drag um, this little button with arrows so you can position it so that it doesn't interfere with uh, any of the Google Maps buttons. And you can toggle recording by tapping on video. And it will start. And then you can retain it uh, by tapping it. So once you've finished uh, configuring all the settings and you're comfortable with operating the app, you know how to start and stop a video recording and how to retain a video, then you can go ahead and pop it into your dash mount. Uh, I like to have mine right in the middle of the dash. Some people like to have it on their windshields, but just be aware of your state's laws regarding that. Um, in California, for example, you can't have anything mounted in the middle of the windshield. It has to go in the lower corners. But I like mine right in the middle of the dash. It uh, has a good view of the road in front of me. So once you're all set up, you can start driving and enjoy your new dash cam. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.